everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing very well today um in this video i am going to be doing my first ever uni series talk now i wasn't really feeling this you you know you this whole uni series but i thought i don't know a part of me told me to go and give it a go and hopefully um someone out there could benefit from this video so in today's video i'm gonna start by actually talking about my mini you know experiences of being a dropout why i dropped out and my current situation now so i hope you could, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video give me a thumbs up in advance guys um share comment subscribe if you don't know me my name is ken naomi by the way yeah let's get straight into this video and i hope you guys enjoy once again so um i'm currently a student like i said i am studying a airline and airport management and um this is actually currently my third year so i think next video i'm actually gonna talk to you guys on like my overall university experiences and you know the pros and the cons and what i've learned <laughs> over the last you know two years or so so right now i'm just gonna start off way from the beginning and just kind of work my way up to why I became a dropout. In my previous university, I was studying um, ODP, Operating Department Practitioner, which was the course that I chose to do um, years back. I'm assuming this was three years ago. It's quite a long time, actually. So, if I take it guys, if I take you guys back to when I was like 16, I think this was when I was doing my GCSE. Um, I remember getting my results and the results was not what I expected. I remember coming back home with my paper. I want to say I was upset, to be quite honest with you, I kind of expected it. I was going through a lot of ish um, during, you know, adolescence days and I couldn't exactly, as much as I loved learning and all of that stuff, I wasn't really motivated during those <laughs> past few years of my life at you know school and all of that so um i remember coming home and i had my paper my res my result and it was just like a i could just see my like the face like my parents facial expression and you can on i could obviously tell that they were very disappointed in me uh, so i had to take an option in doing health and social care level two to kind of make up my lost gcse's and then I aced everything, everything was all good, and I went straight into college. And it made sense for me to do a health and social care level 3, which was what I was studying then. And yeah, everything seemed cool. I was really enjoying my, I think I had the, I wouldn't say I had the best moments at college, but it was pretty, pretty chilled and, you know, made friends along the way. So it was really, 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 really cool experiences. So, um, during, I think it was during halfway within first year of um during my time at college they were already getting us to um um getting us to like decide on what course to what step to take next actually so some people were already choosing to do well thinking about going straight into work others were thinking about you know getting into university and i happened to be one of those people so at the time i wanted to be midwifery but midwifery is very competitive like it's very hard to get into midwifery and um i wasn't so i wasn't too confident that i was going to get the grades that i needed in order to you know to do the course so one of my friends actually she um wanted to do an odp and i remember she's telling me this kind of like a healthcare practitioners that work based in the operating theater so i thought that was really cool because when i was younger you know part of me wanted to be a doctor um <laughs> yeah and um that didn't turn out obviously so um yeah i thought it would be like really cool to work in a theater and all of that stuff so i decided to choose that course um, i think it was like first month first week of september or basically the start of like second year of college they started to get us to like apply for ucas um and choose our five like options five course uh five universities and choose the course that we want to study so i went in and i had five universities that i signed up to i signed up to three universities based in london and then i applied for two outside london but still close by london so 
um i was kind of thinking of commuting kind of thing i didn't want to get an accommodation to be quite honest with you because i was thinking about money and you know saving up and all of that stuff so yeah so that is pretty much it and then on to the waiting list i guess you could put it that way so i started waiting and within a couple of weeks i started getting interviews from different universities and they started inviting me to their assessments and all of that so i thought that was pretty cool so one of my first interview was one based in london i don't think i'm going to be mentioning the university names so i'm going to keep it all anonymous but one of the universities was london based so it was pretty i want to say it was close to my home but you know it's, it's fairly uh, manageable to commute from one from my house to the university so that was like my first option by the way i went into the interview i guess you could say i was somewhat prepared but i didn't know what to expect basically so i went into the interview straight in and they wanted us to do the assessment so we did the maths and an english assessment and I came home actually before i went home was it after i went home no after i came home uh, we, I got an email saying, unfortunately, you didn't go, you didn't make it to the next stage because um, you failed. I think I failed the English assessment. <sighs> English is not my forte, guys. So, anyways, so I was kind of, I was a little bit gutted, but I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, at least I have four more options left, so um, I can now work on my errors, and then hopefully next time when another university invites me at least you know i've revised and um i've got my mindset prepared for like what is to come kind of thing so next interview came i think it was um i don't know which university was it no second interviews actually i remember second university um they didn't even invite me at all they just went straight to um rejection apparently i had i didn't have any um i didn't include my science course in it so i'm like what i was kind of shocked because in the um in the requirements at the website it didn't even say that you needed science it just said you needed maths and english and that's pretty much it i didn't get i didn't um put i didn't even include the science into it i don't even know why but i didn't include it and they decided to reject me and they didn't even get the, they didn't even get the chance to you know know if i am you know capable for this course right so first university was probably really one of my my worst experiences of my life i kid you not so i was getting ready I'm not the day before actually i was getting my clothes set i was getting my stuff set the documents and all of that stuff right next morning waking up i think i was waking up i woke up around like 5 a.m in the morning got ready and all of that stuff now something in my heart was just telling me you, this you this i don't know but it was just telling me like um something isn't right like this isn't your day when i had that feeling it's always it it's always true like it always comes to pass like something bad has to happen i know it sounds like creepy like that but that's just how i feel like when i have a bad feeling it means like this is not like this is really not a good day like really not a good day i really need i really wanted to get into that uni because it was in, it was um outside london but you know still close to london so i can still kind of commute so that was like my another choice it was like actually my second choice actually so um yes and i really wanted to get in so you know i was dressed and guys when i tell you guys my dress sense was not great i'm, I'm i kid you not my dress sense was not great i don't even know what possessed me um i was you're supposed to like wear dress smart and dress appropriate for the assessment or for the interview or whatnot and basically take it as a job can someone please explain to me why i was wearing jeans converse and one one stripe um stripey shirt like what what possessed me what anyway that was <laughs> i can laugh about it now because it's just hilarious but back then um when, when i was thinking about it to myself i'm like what the hell was wrong with me what what came into my head i went i was heading to the station i got my train and i had to i think i had to take a I had to um, take another train to get to the university um and that train guys took 
ages to get to the platform it basically arrived one hour later so you can imagine my interview was supposed to be at 9 a.m and i was at the platform state um at the platform at 9 a.m and i tried calling the university they were not picking up so i'm like what is going on how am i supposed to let them know that you know i'm on my way like so i was so stressed out that morning i was huffing and puffing I was just uh, sweating like oh uh, I was just a hot mess and then to make it worse it was raining and it was just uh, that day was just so draining and I knew that I knew that wasn't my that wasn't my day but I was just listening basically listening to two voices in my head one is telling me stay at home the other is telling me um just go go for this interview one is telling me oh no this is not your day return like i'm on the platform and, and i can hear a voice in my head telling me just turn back it's not worth it i have another voice in my head telling me no just keep on going you never know this might actually be your your uni right so after an hour i got there at like 10 15 finally reached to my destination got to my interview got to the room looked in through the door and saw people dressed all smart like as if it was actually like a job a proper professional job interview and I was shook at that mo at that moment I was kind of debating and battling um I had basically two voices in my head telling me what what to do or what not to do one voice is telling me go back turn back it's not too late another voice is telling me go in like it's, it's there's nothing wrong what did I do? I listened to this voice. I went in. Everyone stared at me as if I was one mad person in the street. It was so humiliating. I couldn't even in. I couldn't even take. Um, I couldn't even focus on my assessment when I was doing it. I couldn't even do the interview properly. I was, you know, trembling. I was stumbling um, between words. It was just that day was just a hot, 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 hot mess. I came back home. I told my sister. And my sister was like, why did you not just listen to your voice in your head telling you to go home? I was like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Guys, the minute I got home, went straight to the UCAS uh, website and rejected it. I just redrew their application. I said, I'm not, I'm not, coming, I'm not going to this university. Um, because I knew they were going to um, reject my, um, my request to go to the university anyway. So I thought, let me make the life easier and just click the, the withdraw button. And that's pretty much what I did. Guys, from that day on, my, my 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 day was just ruined. It was just in a ruin. But um, I guess that was kind of like a lesson for me. And from then on, all I did was make sure that I prepare myself mentally, physically. Like I had to make sure that I I was smart in every single one of my interviews. Even if one person gonna come with jeans, no, I am coming with proper trousers and shirt in a blazer. You know what I'm trying to say? So that was like one third. That was like an epic fail and then I had another university interview which is the last one that turned out well the uh, assessment was great but the interview was just a hot mess and I was left with no option but to uh, reapply for other universities through clearing and I think I managed to apply for like three and managed to get one university right at the last minute I'm talking I think July I got the offer and um no it wasn't even july i think it was august actually i got an offer through clearing and they accepted me and i was super shocked because i didn't expect it the good thing with that with that interview that there was no assessment so you know i was fine with that and the people the um people that were interviewing me who happened to be my lecturer at that time as well they were pretty nice were more comfortable when they're asking me questions during the interview and that's what i like about these interviews like if you have someone that's interviewing you and they're like all smiling and they're like very like positive and all of that it just makes you feel a lot more comfortable rather than in the interview that i'm telling that i was telling you guys about the one where you know i was just a hot mess then one that was just like those they, they seemed so like firm their face was firm they, they didn't seem nice i'm not gonna lie to you here i went into university first week was super stressful i had to commute back and forth because 
um the university by the way was outside london which was way far i still had to come in back and forth so you can imagine my money was just going like this it was just going like it was just my money was just going like this like every single week um but eventually i got my accommodation and i felt you know a lot more comfortable basically and you know university seemed things seemed good like it was it seemed um very very welcoming everyone seemed nice and things were okay now i guess it kind of hit me hard when i realized that university was certainly not what i expected and i realized at this point i really wasn't mentally prepared for university and i now wish i was to be quite honest with you if i felt like if i had if i was offered a place at university sooner rather than later i feel like during that period of time um that i had before starting uni i would have been like mentally prepared and you know prepare myself for uni and just getting ready for the course and all of that stuff but i didn't really have that time and you know with the whole accommodation i didn't have the time to kind of like prepare myself for that as well so it was really like very challenging and i tried to battle it through um for yeah it was just very like <laughs> all over the place basically um i just feel like everything was just happening so soon everything was just happening so fast and i just i felt like i had no one to kind of like talk to at that point like there was no one to help me with like i couldn't go to my parents because the thing was with me right i'm i'm very like back then anyways i'm trying not to be like that now but back then i used to be very closed like i find i find it very difficult to kind of share my um share my my personal issues or situation to people because i don't want people to think that i'm nagging them or something like that like I, I tend to keep my business to myself so basically i'm dealing with all of these situations alone and no one really knows what i'm going through kind of thing um so it was just very draining and it got to a point when i was really struggling financially as well i remember give, getting given money from student finance and from the nhs bursary and how the money went just like that i don't even know because the money just went so fast and then bearing in mind i had to use this money to travel back and forth to my work placement as well which was not cheap at all and it wasn't like based in the city that or in the town that i was living in it was based outside so it was like i had to travel from one 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 town to the next so it was just it was just chaotic and it was very hard to the point where my dad literally gave me his bank card to you know to use it and even though like he gave it to me i couldn't quite use it like that because it's not my car so why would i use someone's card like that um so it was just just chaotic so um despite all of that i tried to battle through i tried to get go through the day i tried to i tried my best to kind of stick around and just try and focus and try and make the most of my time at university when when it got to a point when they started giving us assignment i would look at it and my my mind was my mind would be literally blank like i'm looking at the paper and i'm like what the hell is this like what am i looking at like i can't i can't think straight so yeah it was just it was kind of like um it was just getting bad like my it was things was just not going as well as i hoped uh things became like real bad so i guess you could say my final straw of that which is the reason why i decided to drop out was when i started doing my work placement now the work placement that i was doing was like i said it was based outside of like of the town where i was staying at so you know it was kind of hard to kind of travel back and forth whilst everyone got into their work placement like everyone started to do their work placement i could i didn't i was the only one that had not started doing work placement because of my dbs my dbs came extremely late 
so I had to wait like I think I waited like a week or two whilst everyone had already started doing work placement so when I finally got into work placement obviously I didn't complete all the module meaning that I had failed it and there's nothing there's nothing that they could do basically two weeks later I went into my um I went into the hospital that I was based at and basically started observing and you know observing the workers and the surgeons and you know how they do their thing and all of that two days day two observing day three observing it got to a point where i was doing more observing than getting into action and it was kind of draining like i don't like to just sit there and do nothing i like to get into action like two days of observing is for me is even long like they should they should have got me to do like they should have got me into action within the second day like got me into doing a few things but my mental was hardly there so it was like who's gonna mental me kind of thing my experiences i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't quite enjoy it which is why i decided to drop out at that point i realized oh, this is this is not for me i don't think this is something that i want to do in the long run i can't see myself working in the hospital <laughs> For 10 years, let alone, for 5 years guys, let alone for 10 years, I can't, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't see myself basically. And, I don't know, for me, this is just my personal experiences, because everyone is different and everyone has different experiences from, everyone has an ex different experiences from what they learned from their placement. But my experiences from the hospital that I was based at and just the people around me, it was just very draining um there was no life that's just me and um yeah i just couldn't imagine myself waking up early in the morning every day just to come to that that kind of environment and it made me realize that this is this is really not for me as much as i really really tried and i really wanted to go through um and just finish uni i just realized that this was not for me and i had to make the right choices not just for me now but me in the future i don't want it to i didn't want to stick around and then later on regret it kind of thing so i decided to drop out and now how i told my parents i told them that i got kicked out of uni but after a while i couldn't hold it in anymore i hate lying to my parents so um i just told them the honest truth and i just told them that i didn't really enjoy the course the course wasn't for me i hated where i was placed at and um that's why i had to leave and they took it extremely well which i was very very surprised you know how african parents can be i decided to get back into university and i felt like at this point okay i'm really i'm now ready for uni now and i feel like i am mentally prepared enough now so that's pretty much what i did and i started to kind of look for courses which i felt like would be very you know interesting and just something that I can do in the future and um yeah here I am I'm doing you know airline and airport management and that is pretty much it and it's been I'm currently in my third year right now so things is it's pretty like hectic right now it's getting very very hard very difficult but trying to pull through so yes but that's pretty much my little I wouldn't say my little that's pretty much a long story or like my you know my dropout um of me dropping out and why i dropped out and all of that good stuff basically one of my tips i'll definitely tell you guys is one definitely make sure that you are choosing the right course for you um something that you are passionate about or you are very in very much interested in when i chose odp i guess i chose it out because i chose it because my friend suggested it not suggested it but she mentioned it and then i thought oh this would be cool so yeah i thought why not right and um it wasn't really about oh what i wanted or what what i was interested in it just it was more about oh this sounds cool i can i can do this but it wasn't really like something that i was very passionate about or may then again i was passionate about it at the start but then i guess that passion just kind of faded away the minute i went into work placement and then realized oh okay this is not what i want actually you know just 
make sure that you are very sure you are extremely sure that this is the course that you want to do because remember if you're going to be taking student finance like you have to make sure it's worth it um last thing you want to do is drop out of uni and because of the course because you hate the course basically and then for you to still have that depth on your shoulder like that's a no-no so just make sure that you are choosing the course which is right for you and it's worth it basically make sure you're choosing the right university um the university that i chose then was like really far and it was like very hard to kind of commute at the start and then i went into getting an accommodation i just felt i don't know i just felt quite empty during my time there i felt alone and all of that um i know it's a thing i mean i guess it's a thing when everyone can tends to feel like lonely especially when you don't have family around but um just make sure that you do the research on the university and make sure this is the university that you definitely want to go you want to get into and just see what happens and another thing i definitely say don't let anyone pressure you or force you into getting into uni i felt like when i was during my time at college i felt like my parents somewhat did pressure me to get into uni because i didn't mention that you know i wanted to do like a gap year at, at one point but they told me not just get in get it over done with and then you know get on with your life basically and i kind of listened to that and they made the point like it was kind of like a good point like to a certain extent but at that time mentally i wasn't prepared i wasn't ready like i was just leaving college and then entering into university like it was just too much for me so basically just make sure that no one pressures you into it and if you can try and convince them that you need more time in order for you to get into university then definitely tell them that make sure that you're going into university because you want to not because you have to what else what else what else and yeah just try having as much fun as possible and yeah make the most of it basically i think that's all i have to say like that is pretty much it guys um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video give me thumbs up share comment and subscribe as well and uh, let me know what you guys think of this video follow me on my instagram page and take care stay blessed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye